Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cryptography YouTuber that is trying to have a year-long no-buy and so far it's going good. And I am trying this year to use more of the makeup I have, so today I am going to use an eyeshadow that I actually haven't used and I bought it a long while ago and then some other eyeshadows that I have in my collection. So I just think we will hop into this. An eyeshadow I'm talking about is this one from Colourpop. This is Fruit Punch, so it is one of their super shock shadows and I think this came in summer last year, I can't remember. And the look that I'm planning to do is to using this, of course, and also these two colors from Lethal. So this is Relapse and this is Transmutation. Maybe. Maybe I can check. Transmutation, yeah. And the look that I'm doing is inspired <laughs> by a friend of mine that is Sophie from... from She's a Swedish YouTuber and this is messing with my brain. Sophie from Beauty och Böcker. We have done a collab over a year ago and I have been following Sophie for I don't know how long. And it was <laughs> sometime last year that she posted this look on her Instagram. And I was like, okay, I need that fruit punch in my life, so I did buy it last year. And today it's going to be <laughs> when I'm using it. It has just been sitting on my makeup table for so long, but today is going to be the day. And in Sophie's look, she's actually using the Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay that I also own, but I took two of my single shares from Lethal. So I'm going to do a take on this and it's, it's inspired by Sophie. But yeah, I'm just going to prime my eyes and then we get started. The only thing though that I'm a little bit worried with this one, if it's going to be like too big of a contrast between the black and this one. So I actually think that I might go in with this darker green matte from Lethal as well. I think that is Eden. But I will see without it first and see if I want to change it up or not. But we're going to start like this. And now, do I maybe need to clean my brushes again? Yeah, I think so. And I still have, I think it's one more palette in my collection that I haven't used yet. And it's from LH Cosmetics. And I need to use it. Because I don't like to have unused makeup at home. And I think it's only that palette that I have that I haven't used yet. And that actually feels <laughs> super great. That was one of the reasons for my no buy and for me like being super overwhelmed with my makeup collection that I have unused palettes so it feels really good to finally use this shade and hopefully I will soon use that LH Cosmetic palette so everything that is here is used and yes I should use my makeup much much more but uh, it feels good to have everything used. Okay. I do really like this shadow. I think actually green shadows is my favorite from Lethal. And I have some. And like this one. This is kind of sheer. But as you see on this side you can really build it up to something that looks really really good it just takes a little while and what I can see now what I do feel is that the black is going to be too dark for this but I do really maybe I should just try I think I will just try 
So I went with the black one and I'm going to be careful. And I'm a little bit worried like in my crease, maybe I should have taken the dark green in my crease first. It's a little bit late for that. I think this is <laughs> doable. And I do like this black. It's not like, it's not the blackest black I have. But it's one of the easier blacks I have. I do really love like a super deep dark pitch black eyeshadow sometimes but at the same time it's harder to work with and I think I've talked about this before but I was so I did really want like a smoky eye like a couple of years ago but I didn't know how to do it and I was so afraid of it I still don't know if I'm like good at it but decent maybe and my only tip is to just try and go in with a little bit in time okay black and bright green it's an amazing combo and another tip I have I have talked about this before because I've done some smoky eyes before it's to as everybody comes with the same tip but start closest to your lashes and with not too much of a product and wor work your way up to your crease and I think it's easier to just start blending in your crease and not packing anything on in the crease so that you don't have that much color and I can't remember where I heard this tip the first time but I've heard it a lot of like YouTube channels and on Instagram and with eyeshadow you can always put on more but it's hard to take things away so just start with a small amount and okay is this turning up to a tutorial who am I okay <laughs> so far so good and now I'm going in to the fruit punch and I think this should work without the glitter glue. I have swatched it a couple of times and I can't like get enough of it. I'm taking a Sigma Sigma brush that is E32. And ooh. I hope that this was a good brush, but I think it was because this looks Good. and I need a mirror a little bit closer why have I waited so long to use this shade because this looks freaking amazing and oops I just want to take this all over my lid this is an amazing green shimmer feels like it works best to pack it on and then start to smudge when you have filled it up and I don't know if that is how you're supposed to work with super shock shadows from Colourpop you know me reading about formulas getting to know the best way to put on an eyeshadow it's not a thing I do so I just try and this I do never want to stop I want this all over my face I think I need to put the shadow down because I think I'm going to like fill up my lids with it if I don't stop now but this one amazing okay so together with the black it looks really really good but I actually think that I want to go in with this one I think it's Eden and just try to do the overlap with the black so I go in with this just 
tiny bit that was a little bit too much just to put it because it feels like the black one is going to be too dark on the shimmer so I think this might be a good balance between them and yes I am so happy with this look, like so so happy it turned out exactly as I wanted it to and it is as amazing that it looked on Sophie's pictures. So okay, I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my, fix my base, my under eyes, I'm probably taking a red lip to this one, don't know which depth to it, but yeah, I will fix my face and then come back. This is my finished look and for my lips I took Sherry and Magistic from LH Cosmetics. On my waterline I did take Extra Frosting from Colourpop and I love this look. It is exactly what I wanted but I think it's even better. I love this, where have I even put it, this fruit punch. It's such an amazing color and it goes really good together with the black and uh, with the, the dark green. So I did use these three colors from Lethal together with the fruit punch and it's just an amazing look. I do really really love it. I think it turned out so so good. Exactly what I wanted it to be even better and I like, don't know why I haven't used this before when I have had it for such a long time just an amazing shade amazing so i guess that was all for this video and i want to say thank you to sophie for inspiring me to this look even though it was a long time i checked it was in august she done uh, that look but i'm finally doing it and i do love this dark green no a black, I almost said a dark black, a black together with a super chartreuse neon green. It's an amazing combo. So yeah, I do really hope that you have liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!